Make a hole! Nurse, I have a man who needs surgery now. Sergeant, we are already at full capacity. We cannot Nurse, just- he's already lost a lot of blood and his right arm was nearly severed by an energy sword. Sir, I understand, but as I told you, we cannot support the large number of casualties. Also, our blood supplies are low, Nurse, and we- Nurse, what's the hold up here? Dr. Matthews, the sergeant has a man that has a laceration arm cutting and in critical condition, yet we cannot help since we're low on staff. We will be fine with the men that came in. Get a team to prepare a room for operation, then page for Nurse Lexi to come back from break. Sergeant, I'm going to have your men bring in the patient to room 17. You two, do as he says. Let's move! Nurse, Nurse Lexi, Lexi and all, all available, available staff, staff and hands, hands. Please, please meet, meet in front for instruction. Nurse, Nurse Lexi, Lexi and all available staff and hands, hands. Please, please meet in front for instruction. Ah, Doc, do something, will you? Get him some morphine or something. I'm trying, but he's moving too much. He'll bleed out before we can do anything, and we are low on morphine. Sorry, bud. <laughs> Sergeant, that was highly uncalled for. He's starting to stabilize slowly, but doctor, we need to act fast or his arm will become infected. Nurse Lexi, his arm is already gone. Hook him up to support and then bring him over to the surgical instruments on the desk. Yes, doctor. So in short, we need to amputate regardless. Ma'am, this is something we learned at basics. We learned to know that if a limb gets cut by that blasted sword, then it's pretty much a blowtorch to a stick yes, of butter. to answer your question, it's a yes. I understand that you're still fresh from the clean pavilion hospital rooms, but when a person gets slashed from a plasma sword, it's nearly impossible to fix. The only reason this man appears to be normal is because his suit is sealed up in the water to prevent him from drowning. Poor guy. Well, the instruments are prepped and set. When you're ready, Doc. Then let's begin. <laughs> Hello? Hello? Is anyone out there? to see you guys. Are we safe? I think I was knocked out cold. Guys. Guys. Guys, come on. Come on, can't you hear me? Guys. Guys, come on, can you hear me? Come on, can't you hear me? Don't you hear the alarm? Guys! Guys! Don't you hear the alarm? Guys!
good morning. <laughs> I hope you had a nice dream during these past couple of days. So let me just explain your situation so that you have a little understanding of what happened. You were found near the bottom of a cliff where you were knocked off from. And based on what we have seen so far, we can see that a concussion doesn't seem to be present. That, along with the water in the lungs which nearly made you drown. Turns out that jarhead of a sergeant was so concerned with the arm, he seemed to have forgot that his team pulled you out of the water. Well, thank you for that. Just... <sighs> My arm feels kind of funny. And it... It's a prosthetic. Yes, it is. While you were out, the sergeant who brought you in gave us your battle footage and showed you that your arm was sliced by a special operation Sankili. It appears that the elite was very good. He damaged your sniper rifle and then knocked you off the cliff with a blow to your arm with its sword. To be honest, you should be dead by now, yet you're still alive. If the bleeding or the fall didn't kill you, then you should have drowned. Without the footage of the time in between to confirm what really happened, we can only guess that the phantoms that picked up the elite in the area caused enough waves to send your body to the shoreline. Lucky. But still, I'm stuck with a robotic arm I could barely move. Uh, let me tell you, it hurts worse than roasting it in a fire. About that, what you are currently experiencing with that pain is called the phantom limb syndrome, which is a sensation that an amputated or missing limb is still attached. Though we can't fully take care of the pain, completely you can take some prescribed painkillers. In the meantime, please rest up. Nurse Lexi, would you please give the patient some medications and follow me to the lobby? Yes, doctor.